Hey, hey now. Okay, so um, this has been an interesting project, uh, you know, because I'm building some of it on my own and I'm, you know, kind of going off instructions. But, um, you know, long story short, what we have here is a uh, Selectric. Actually, this is a 15 inch correcting Selectric 2, um, and it's been converted into a printer. And um, basically, um, well, here, let me flip it up for you here. One-handed. It's tricky. This guy's heavy. So, um, the modification consists of adding solenoids um, to the character selector character selector latches, um, which, you know, the actual latches are down here, but there's um, some um, the the actual uh, movement happens here, and then these solenoids basically pull those up, which lift those up as the little thing pulls back, and that's how the characters get selected. So we've got um, tilt two, tilt one, rotate two A, um, rotate two, key press, uh, rotate five. Oh, man, my labels are all messed up. But uh, anyway, these are the selector latches, and um, what we have here is the space and the return solenoid, and basically those are wrapped around some piano wire, which uh, yanks the little um, thingies right here, and there's a convenient little hole there. And then the final solenoid is our shift solenoid. And, um, you know, this, this linkage is much more reliable than the one in the guides, but, uh, yeah, that's the curious thing about this project is, uh, you know, the December 1970... Ooh, shoot. December 1983 um, through February 1984 issues of Radio Electronics Magazine had this, these um, guides on how to build an interface. Now, first first one, you know, it's, <laughs> it's so funny that they tell you like, oh yeah, cool, you're going to be able to turn your typewriter into a thing in this issue, but it's not. Like, this is, December is literally just building um, the TTL uh, solenoid driver, um, which is compatible with the um, electronic and the Selectric. Um, Part two is kind of just, um, I think, actually the electronic installation. And um, then part three, which is February, is actually the Selectric install instructions. Um, so, you know, assuming you have the board, this is all the kind of cool jazz that kind of tells you how everything works. And they give you some foil patterns, which um, solenoids that aren't really available anymore. Um, so they give you like PCBs to make, but I just made metal brackets in lieu of the in lieu of the PCBs. Um, but you know, they give you some idea of how everything's supposed to be arranged. Frankly, this is really not optimal. There, there's better ways to do this. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I, I encourage you to sort of mark it up and I'll, I'll adjust my documentation. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, so this is, this, is, this is probably the most helpful thing. Um, <clears throat> But uh, interestingly, um, they don't actually give you the lookup table um, for the, uh, you know, ASCII 7-bit input to, you know, Selectric 7-bit output. So, um, anyway, I had to print this out full side because these linkages have to get bent out of piano wire. Um, and then, you know, the two other guides that I went off of were, um, you know, the TV typewriter handbook was actually very helpful. Um, uh, this is available on archive.org, but essentially it shows you how you can use just like a prom to uh, do character conversion, which is uh, one way to do it. And then they give you this lookup table, um, which I think is mostly right, except they got their bit order wrong. Um, and then, you know, they, they, they do their best to be helpful here. You know, there's a chart here. But, you know, we figured out that the, the columns are mixed up. So I'm not sure if this was just like, you know, pointing you in the right direction. And then, you know, you, you really couldn't make a commercial product out of, out of these instructions directly. Like, you, 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 you could get this far and then you'd still have work to do. Um, and then finally, like, you know, this was, this had some information in it. This is um, on bit savers. Um, Sharpen Associates apparently made a commercial Selectric uh, typewriter conversion. And it just has some additional helpful uh, illustrations and just some some words and stuff. But uh, yeah, anyway, I guess long story short, let's just let me just give you a, a quick hello world on here. Um, let me see, I'm gonna lay this guy down. And these are uh, Tip 102 Darlingtons, um, and I've got a beefy power supply. Because frankly, uh, the uh, 24. Volt solenoids are going to draw way less current. These these solenoids draw an amp each, um, which not ideal. But uh, yeah, anyway.
Let's go ahead and fire that guy up. And then... Let's see what we got on the clipboard. Oh, that's not good. gonna be working on some code to buffer in some more characters so I can do some ASCII art but uh, that's kind of the next step <laughs> 